what are your three favourite chase films? Three favourite chase films. Well, you, you put me on the spot here. Come on. Uh, three Amigos, Dirty Work, and Nothing But Trouble. No, I, I don't remember a chase in Three Amigos at all. No, you mean Chevy Chase films. No, Chase, as in the act of... You're a fucking... I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. He jumped over three linebackers in midair. Sprouted animals like a gazelle. <laughs> no one laughs at a master quack fool. Real nice. Many have died from starvation due to the difficulty of finding enough food such as... Seals. Shut up. No more Mr. Nice Duck. That's it. Right, Mr. Zitz? What do you make of that? You know, it's the most fantastic story I've ever heard. The Round Carpet Podcast. Welcome back, Saddlebags. Lace up your boots, put on your chaps, whip your horse, throw a leg over, and join us on this week's From the Vault episode of the Brown Carpet Podcast. We're winding back the clock to pony up. Yeah, this is a good one. One of your and my favourite episodes. Yeah. This one I genuinely think could make a, a pretty decent film. Yeah, like if you sifted through all the, the junk that we do, this would be a little, little, little gold nugget at the bottom of the pan. It'd be a long sift, <laughs> but this is the nugget right here. Yeah. Pony up, pretty solid film. So any producers out there looking to steal our content, this is the one. That's right. And I'm looking at you, Asylum Films, taking meth gators. Yeah, no, we see you out there. Yeah, we know you're watching. Yeah, totally. So what's this about? It's about a pony. That's going upwards. <laughs> no. It's about a mafia boss named El Stelione. El Stelione. A dodgy jockey. Dodgy jockey. A racist uncle. Racist uncle. Got Danny McBride in there. It's a, it's a hell of an episode. It's a great episode. Danny Trejo. Don't give too much away, mate. Sorry. Let's just watch the episode. Enjoy. Mate, the headline for this week, funnily enough, comes out of Florida. Oh, uh, surprise, surprise. And it reads, Florida man and ex-jockey torched woman's house before <laughs> fleeing in General Lee car replica. General Lee being the Confederate... Straight out of Dukes of Hazard. Oh, the, yes, yeah the, yeah, the muscle car. The muscle car with the Confederate flag on the roof. It was like orange, right? A little yeah. bit racist. What, saying it's orange? The Confederate flag. Oh, right. Slavery and all that. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, has not aged well. No. Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> Let me get into the story. A Florida man is accused of setting fire to his ex-wife's home before leading police on a high-speed chase in his vehicle painted to resemble the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard television show. Oswald Pereira, 44, of Morrison, Florida. Great name. Oswald Pereira? Yeah. Sounds like a skater. Yeah, it does. Ozzy Pereira. Yeah. Faces several charges, including fleeing and attempting to elude law enforcement and three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon following the incident at the house in southwest Marion County on May 14th. Oswald Pereira is alleged to have poured gasoline around the home and set it alight. The suspect was then spotted running away from the blaze after accidentally setting his pants on fire. <laughs> That's legitimate. He actually set his pants on fire. That's great. Police said Oswald Pereira suffered burns to 15% of his body, including his legs, arms, and back. <laughs> Downstairs department too. Oh, yeah. No one else was injured in the fire, and two dogs were rescued from inside. It was horrible. The flames were shooting through the roof. Oh, there's dogs inside. There's two dogs, but they were, yeah, they were rescued. What a bastard. It's all good. After allegedly starting the blaze, Oswald Pereira is accused of getting in his Dodge Charger, painted to look like the iconic vehicle from the popular TV series, and escaping the scene. He ditched the Charger and took off again in a white GMC Yukon, leading authorities through Marion and Levy counties. They used a pit manoeuvre, or pursuit intervention technique, to knock the SUV off the road. I had to look this up. Do you know what that is? A yeah. pit manoeuvre? It's where they, they put a thing across the road and it catches you under the armpits. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's where they, they come up alongside you and they nudge the front of the car so it spins out. Oh, the right. Yeah. Yeah. No other injuries were reported, according to the Marion County Sheriff's Office, and two dogs were rescued from the fire. Oh, I like the part where his pants caught on fire. I know. I also like, do you reckon he bought the car or had he tricked out like the Dukes of Hazzard car or he did I it himself? I reckon he customed it himself. Yeah. Sounds like the kind of scumbag that would do that. Oh, he's, what a great character to put in a film. Ozzy. Ozzy Pereira. All right. So are we going to, Are we? Gonna, I mean, is, is Ozzy our main character? Are we going to follow Ozzy's adventures? Are we going to work out why he set it on fire? What did you say he was? He was a jockey? He's a jockey. Ex-jockey. Let's start there. Well, yeah, why not? That makes sense. Oh, he's an ex-jockey. He's a little fella. He kind of comes across like a bit of a live fast kind of guy. The need for speed. <laughs> the need for a steed. It's definitely in his The need makeup. for steed. Need You've for already steed. got a name for this. <laughs> it's <is> that title. <laughs> the need for steed. So what do you reckon? Where are we going to go with this? Why did he set the place on fire? That's Where are we? We're in America. What's the, what's the big horse race over there? We're in Florida, Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky Derby. Derby. Well, that's a good place to start. We've got him like literally mounted up in all the jockey gear, walking up to the starting gates, about to run in the Kentucky oh, I Derby. I think we need to go. Are we starting at, the, at a race? Why not? Do we need to 
go back on his life or well I reckon because it's a really good event like it's a really good tense moment that moment before before the race so maybe we could have him shuffle into the into the, into the starting gates. gate and he kind of like closes his eyes to kind of prep himself and then we have a little bit of flashback that we see how he got there what's his horse's name Bojack Daniels <laughs> <laughs> that's a redneck horse name yeah <laughs> I reckon he's, he's probably got a bit of a, a drinking problem. And he's racist. Comes yep. from a racist family. I imagine so. And you're saying flashbacks. Okay, so... Yeah, get a few flashbacks. So you're saying he was an alcoholic. Yep. Bit of a dodgy dude. Dodgy dude. What, found himself in, in some shady places. Is that where we're going with this? Yeah. Right, Maybe okay. some gambling debt. Checkered past. Checkered past. Jockey with a checkered past. Maybe he owes some money to a couple of mean Mexicans. Yep. Maybe a cartel. Cartel. Maybe he's he's been a bit of a big drinker. He's yep. made some bad decisions. He's yep. put some money on the wrong horse. Maybe... Maybe even backed himself when he shouldn't have. Yep. Now he's in deep to a crime boss. Who's going to play this jockey? We need someone slight. Someone a little smaller than your average Hollywood actor. Um, and Tom you know, Cruise. Tom Cruise is probably a bit old. I don't think he'd do this sort of film, Tom Cruise. It's a bit below him. I reckon it's a bit above him. <laughs> height wise. <laughs> what about uh, Elijah Wood? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Needs a good name. Eddie Wolf. Eddie Wolf. Eddie Wolf. That's good. He sounds like a daredevil. He sounds like a guy that likes to go fast. He flirts with the law. The type rope that is the law, he dances on it. Oh, yeah. It's going to get him. All right. <laughs> okay. So maybe maybe Eddie owes big bucks. Gambling debts. To a uh, big Mexican cartel boss. Yep. El Stelione. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy's name? Yeah. El Stelione. <laughs> you got to say it with a bit of a... El, El Stelione. El Stelione. You're going to put in some... Get a bit of a Mexican jangle. Mexican in there. jangle. Do it yeah. again. El Stelione. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Played by Danny Trejo. Of course. Who yeah. else? So maybe before the race, El Stelione. Yep. Put some big bucks on his main rival, who was an underdog, and said to Eddie, "Fucking lose the race." Ah. Yeah. This is how he's going to pay back his debts. Yeah. He's going to load up on the other guy because he's got the best horse. Bojack is like far lap. It's like far lap. it's one. 20 on the trot he should be a high flying jockey with a, driving a white Mercedes mm-hmm. like 50 cent yep instead he's got the fucking General Lee <laughs> he's got General Lee yeah okay so I mean that's that's a good setup. yeah maybe then we go back to the to back. the starting <laughs> game all he's got to do is lose the race yeah simple as that yeah Who's, who'd be a good rival for him real smarmy but slight and small jockey style Job from Arrested Development. Will Arnett? Yeah. Yes, Will Arnett. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit big. He's a bit tall. We'll CGI him down. We'll CGI him down. To so it's Will Arnett. Child size. Eat my dust. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, he, he, he eggs him on. His ego kicks in and he, he fucks it up. And he forgets he's meant to lose. No, he no but he just, he, he, yeah, he just, he rages out because he hates this rival over. guy. Hates him. What's a rival's horse name? A horse's name? Oh. Twinkle Hoofs? Twinkle Hoofs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. Twinkle uh, Hoofs is good. Now it needs a, it needs more of a badass name. Um, Poke uh, Poco Peppy Doc. What? <laughs> <laughs> Poco Peppy Doc. What does that even mean? That's the horse's name. All right. Poco Peppy Doc. Poco Peppy Doc. Does that mean anything? No. Just a just collection just of sounds. syllables coming together. Okay. Does he have a, like a special relationship with his horse? Perhaps our man Eddie. Oh, like you saying some sort of. Sexual relationship with his horse? No, absolutely not what I was implying. You're saying some sort of forced sex? You've been watching way too many Sydney <laughs> Film Festival films, mate. <laughs> no, you mean like he, he he's, a, he's a horse whisperer? Yeah, he could be a horse whisperer. He's like a Caesar Milan type act character. Yeah. That but with be... horse, with his own horse. Yep. So the yep. horse is like Mr. Red. <laughs> oh, Wilbur. <laughs> I, no, I hadn't, I hadn't exactly thought of that, but it could be. So he talks to he talks to the horse. He talks to the horse, but only he can talk with the horse. Well, a horse is a horse, of course, of course, but no, no one can, can talk, talk to a horse, horse of course. course. Unless, of course, course, the horse. So Bojack Daniels talks back to him. Do, do all horses talk to him? I think he's just got a special relationship with Bojack so it's Daniels. Not, it's not like Mel Gibson in What Women Want. He can't. He just no. has a power of knowing what no, all horses want. He's not Doctor Doolittle. <laughs> so anyway, he takes off. He's meant to lose the race. Yeah. And on the home stretch... Comes to the home the home turn. And he can't help himself. Because Will Arnett's got that real smarmy... Oh, so he, smug. And he just beats him by... Just comes home hard. Gets him by a nose. Whips... Really whips the horse. And the moment he crosses the line, he realises he's oh, fucked shit. up. Oh, shit. He's fucked up massively. Yeah. So now he's on the run. I mean, basically, he's got El Stelione's men yeah. after him. This is where the chase... I, I reckon the chase begins right here. Yeah. So he, he, the, I reckon the, rest, he rides, the rest of this film is going to be a chase. Yeah. I reckon he rides the horse... Straight to the parking lot. 
doesn't even bother going to the stable. Oh, <laughs> right. Because right his, he, his, his men are like at the at the side going, yep. trying, trying to get through the, the yeah, fence. Yeah, yeah. Like going, you know, like angrily waving. Yep. Yeah. Just goes straight through yeah. over into the parking lot. <laughs> he just lot. keeps going. Yeah. He like Forrest Gump's out of the stadium That's when he right. runs at the football game. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps going. Jumps into his car and he's immediately pursued by the henchman. Two vehicles following him. Right. So this is Treo's lackeys. Yeah. A few yeah. goons. Sorry. El Stelione. El Stelione. Okay, cool. That's I love that name, by the way. It's good. So maybe we get a little bit of a chase sequence as he tries to lose the goons on the way home. So he's going home for his wife. Wife? Girlfriend? Lover? Boyfriend? Side piece? Side piece. He's in the process of a messy divorce. This right. is this is the woman that caused the divorce. Home wrecker. The side piece. He loses the goons, gets home, and basically explains it, babe. We got to go. Is this a Tammy? They're coming here now. Tammy? Tammy? It's kind of redneck, right? Tammy? Or you want a better name than that? Come on. We can do better. All right. Go for it. We had Bridget. Why did you say it like that? Bridget? Because it means... Is it French? Bridget means fire in French. Oh, you're just flexing those those skills that you know what names mean. A little bit of uh, language knowledge. (laughs) (laughs) Because that's their plan, yeah? They're going to set fire to the house and attempt to fake their own deaths. Right. As a way to escape. Okay. Oh, that's how we're going to get the house fire in there. Okay, so yeah. he comes home, says, babe, we've got to burn this house down. And that's what they do. They said, they said about... In- I mean, she'd probably have a little bit of pushback. <laughs> Are we going to do like a... Burn the house. A, a, a scene. We're going to show the per- the pants burning scene. <laughs> Are we going to put that in this, this film or not? Does no, it-, it makes him seem like a bit of a fucking doofus. Is he, is he, he's a bit of a doofus though, right? Maybe the one thing he does well is ride a horse really fast. And the rest of his life is calamity. He's Frank Spencer for the rest of it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Betty, I did a whoopsie. But maybe she's the gun driver. So when, when we come to the like the, the guts of the chase, she's, she's like, the one behind the wheel. She's What do they call the, um, those race, the race car drivers in America? Stock car. Is it the, on the dirt? Okay. Stock car. Yeah, she's like a... She knows how to drive a car. Really good at going in circles fast. Yes. Yeah? Just like their relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Layers. Metaphors. So... <laughs> They set fire to the house. <laughs> yep. Perfect plan. So maybe this is where the muscle car comes in. The the Dukes of Hazard. The General, the Lee, General Lee. Dukes of Hazard car. Maybe it's Bridget's. Maybe she's the race car driver and the car belongs to her racist uncle. Oh, we've got a racist in there. Yeah. Well, it's got the Confederate flag on it, right? Yeah, because that explains the Confederate flag. Well, if we're going to have that Dukes of Hazard theme through, we should have the voiceover style thing of Dukes of Hazard where like the freeze, oh, yeah. freeze frame and then I don't know if these boys are going to make it this yeah. time and then we need to have a, a good voiceover for that yeah so I need a good redneck Danny McBride Danny McBride yeah yeah. So, so he's not in the film but he voices over just those a few moments well, now he can be the uncle he can be Uncle Nate who owns the car right but that we don't do we see him in the film maybe there's a real brief scene where like they ask him for the keys to the yeah, General right. Lee yeah he's got his Trump shirt on sitting in his MAGA hat watching Fox News yeah <laughs> <laughs> Throws in the keys the second he hears it's Mexicans. Yeah. So they peel out in the General Lee. He's got number, the number plates are like FCK Hillary. Like, lock her up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the number plates. Lock her up. Yeah. Right, so they're off. Yep. But and they get spotted on the way out of town. By Trejo's man. Yep. Oh, sorry. El Stelione. El Stelione. <laughs> <laughs> so now the chase is on. El Stelione and his men are in hard pursuit. Where are they driving? Where, where are they driving anywhere in particular? They just got to get out of Dodge. Maybe heading to the West Coast. Just on the highway, just yeah. trying to get the fuck out of there. So I reckon we get like, now we get a real solid like 40 minutes of just mad car chase. Are the cops are, are the cops involved as well? Are the cops- I mean, there will be. Well, what we need now is some pretty visually pleasing chase scenarios. Some stunt work. Cars going through the, the, the gap in the train. Oh, yeah. I love that. And then leaving the guys on the other side. Oh, shaking their heads. Damn it. Smokey and the Bandit stuff. <laughs> train just going like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump a school bus. What else can they do? Like knock an old lady's shopping out of her hand as they go past. Yeah. Damn have, have one of those kids. scenes with, with a couple of guys carrying a big plate of sheet glass, <laughs> glass across the road. Big stack of boxes full of chickens. Yeah. We'll have one of those like um, films where you can choose what you want them to go through. You can choose scenarios of what... Oh, like Bandersnatch? Yeah. You want the chickens or you want the glass? Exactly. Yeah. Do you want chickens and the glass? Yeah. Because we filmed it. Yep. We filmed it all. <laughs> Do you want them to jump the school bus or go straight through? <laughs> kill every child on board. But they're, they're, they're still nipping at their feet. One by one, with each of these stunt set pieces, they start losing you know, henchmen. They lose one car here, another car there. Maybe it comes down to just their vehicle. And... and- El Stelione. <laughs> so it's just them and El Stelione, and he forces them onto uh, an unfinished highway. There's like this massive gap of 200 meters over this huge raging river below. 
Yeah, righto. And instead of slowing down, yep. she just speeds up, heads into it, like goes hard, pushes it up to 120 miles an hour. Oh no, I don't know. I don't like where this Seems is going. Seems like certain death. Even El Stallion there slows down, thinking, well, she's lost her mind. But, yeah, right. Okay. She launches, takes off on one side. We get a freeze frame there. Danny McBride kicks in. <laughs> well, looks like these two have cashed their last check. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly placed by Damien. That was yeah. amazing. And so and <laughs> it unfreeze frames and it drops down into into towards the river, but she's actually timed it beautifully as a garbage barge passes underneath. She just lands the car perfectly on a mountain of squishy trash. And then you see like Estelione just like skids out at the top of the cr- cr- I'll find you. So they're flowing down river now, right? Yep. So they, they figured they've bought themselves at least a, a day's time. Like, you think so? Maybe we have a bit of a love scene in the shallow waters. On the barge, on the rubbish. No, no, as they swim ashore. They're oh. on the beach now. <laughs> okay. We got a moment, a bit of a sunset. So a sex happening. scene? Oh, love scene. It's a very consensual act of sex. Yep. Making love in the shallow water. Yeah. But maybe they're interrupted by the sound of a helicopter coming in. Damien, have you got a helicopter sound? <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. And, uh, they look okay. up into the sky, and who do they see? El Stallone. <laughs> and he's hanging out the side with a sniper rifle. Takes one pipe shot and almost kills them both. The first oh, he's shot. hanging out of the chopper. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. Got one of his henchmen driving. This they're, is great. They're screwed now. They're on a beach. There's nowhere to run. Oh, and they've got no car. No car. car's on the barge. How are they going to get out of it? <sighs> he has a relationship with, a special relationship with his horse, right? Bojack Daniels. Bojack. Galloping down the shoreline. That, what's, what's that? What's that in the news? Yeah, it's galloping. Majestic. <laughs> Here comes Bojack. Yep. They, they swing onto the side of the horse. Yeah. There's bullets pinging around them. Yeah. Flying down the shoreline. Waves crashing. Fucking helicopter chasing the horse. How are they going to evade? The... The, they're going to go through woods or something because that's, that's the only yeah. way they can evade. A, a helicopter yeah. on horseback. Duck into the bushlands. Yeah. So they kind of lose it. Where do they go to a clearing or how, how do they? Well, I reckon, you know, through the bush, they'd be jumping logs, going through streams, yeah. ducking underneath vines. Yeah. Have a really like kind of like that Return of the Jedi on the back of the speeder bikes. This amazing fast sequence through all the trees and stuff. And after a bit, they pop out the other side into like a open plane. And because they've taken a few drastic turns, maybe they've lost the helicopter. So they pull up. They're tired. They've been running for a while. They pull up at like the top of a cliff or somewhere. Or last of the sunset, just disappearing. Beautiful outlook. An- another sex scene. We don't need to have another sex scene. I think we just got a moment of peace. Okay. There's, who's the sex scene police? Well, there's a horse involved. We don't want to... No, no no horse involved in the sex scene. Horse can watch. Horse is there. <laughs> <laughs> but he pays extra. <laughs> okay, and so just as they're having this moment, helicopter rises up from oh, behind like, the... Like um, in um, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. No, I'm pretty sure it's True Lies, mate. For the... No, yeah. sorry, a Harrier jet. But this one's a helicopter. So behind the, behind the cliff... Why would comes... I say Ace Ventura? <laughs> I don't know. That was so weird. Ah. <laughs> oh. You know when he's going to get the raccoon in the cliff? No. Nah. There's a helicopter thing. Okay. Go. And there's fucking... El Stelione. Hanging out the side again. This time, he's got a beat on them. Like, they're dead. Dead to rights. There's no way he can miss. Yeah. Way too close. He's got the crosshairs lined up on Eddie's head. Kill shot, ready to go. How are they going to get out of this? I think we've painted ourselves into a corner. Well, we still got Bojack Daniels. He could save the day somehow. The horse sacrifices itself. What do you mean? The horse says, just get off. And he, they they lower themselves off. I wish I wish I had something better to say, something more poetic and yeah. brave. They get off the horse. The horse just like locks eyes with El Stallione. The two stallions. Oh, the two stallions eyeing each mono. other off. I like it. And then it just gallops, gallops towards the chopper, the cliff. Yeah, and just oh, I gotcha. <laughs> launches off in the air. Right. He hurls himself at the helicopter. He goes hoofed foot first. Straight through the, the chopper windscreen, <laughs> straight into Trejo's face. Oh, nice. The rest of the horse's body slamming into the... I mean, he's probably going to get turned into <laughs> mincemeat, but the, the weight of the horse, yeah. as he gets carved to pieces by the rotor blades, will probably take the helicopter out. Yeah. Just blindsided. Horse hoof to the head. Horse hoof to the <laughs> face. Meanwhile, the rest of his body goes through the rotor blades, turning into like... <laughs> Gelatin. <meat>, pet food, <laughs> spraying everywhere. And then just showers them in horse meat. <laughs> yes. But the helicopter goes down and explodes in the rocks Beautiful. below. The explosion starts a bushfire. Simmering. I mean, that's a good place to end. 
as the flames from beneath. Yeah. Maybe this is where you can have your sex scene. <laughs> With all the horse meat. <laughs> yes. They lie down in a puddle of horse meat. We get a freeze frame. And Danny McBride kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Without Mexicano cooked better than a quesadilla, <laughs> these two lovebirds can finally get their fuck on. <laughs> and fuck they did. Fuck they did indeed. <laughs> I fell into a ring of fire, 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 fire. Until next time, never trust a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so racist, this film. What are we going to call it? Oh, okay. Uh, horsepower. Horsepower is good. I need like need for Steed has got to be in there. <laughs> need for Steed is good. Got to be up in the mix. Pony Up. Pony Up's great. Because Pony Up's like, pay up your you debt. You've got to pay your debt. Pony Up is my front runner right now. Got any taglines? The one thing you can bet on, it's going to be one wild ride. Oh, yeah. Because you get the betting. Yep. And the riding. Gambling and Not the that riding. great. What else? Why the long race? <laughs> <laughs> Why the long racist? Why the long racist? This film has a cult following. A cult is in cult horse following. Cult. Yeah. I like that. When gambling debts stir up trouble, this cocky jockey better run like Rocky. Yeah. There's, the Rocky pun isn't amazing, but every other thing about it I love. It works. It's three rhymes, mate. Cocky jockey. It rhymes, better but run. Rocky isn't really a racing thing. He it's ran up fighting. the steps. Oh, he did. He did. Okay. Well, I like I like Pony Up. Is my favourite. Pony Up. Pony Up. This film has a cult, cult following. following. Soundtrack. What do you want in there? Well, we've got Johnny Cash. Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire. The Doors. Light, Light my, my Fire. fire. Chariots of Fire. Dun, 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 dun. That'd be good for when he's running along the beach. Dun, dun, dun. Slow yes. Motion. Yeah. I'm on fire. Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> which is a song about rape. So it is it be really right up your alleyway? Oh. It's pretty creepy. Is it? Yeah. If you listen to the lyrics. lyrics. A lot of those '70s songs are really about forced sex. On ba- barely legal girls, messed up. Uh, and what's our cast? Elijah Wood as Eddie Wolf, yep. the jockey. Danny Trejo as El Stalione. Who's going to play the girlfriend? I reckon a redhead. Yeah, you named a Bridget Fire. Maybe um, Lauren Ambrose from Six Feet Under. Lover. Remember Claire? Yep, the daughter. I love her. Danny McBride as Uncle Nate. As the voiceover, the yep. Dukes of Hazard voiceover. Racist Uncle Nate. Will Arnett as the rival jockey. Yep. That's a film. That's a hell of a film. Pony up. This film has a cult following. Wow. What an it. What got me was the, the horse chunks and the sex scenes. Oh, the love scene in the chunks of horse meat. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty spectacular. Gets me every time. Gets me excited. Something you don't see a lot of these days in cinema. Not enough. Not enough. So for next week. Whew, we got a good one for next week. Brand new episode. We got an episode that's uh, based on a story about a, a group of sheep in China that started walking in a circle and just kept on going. Very strange indeed. Possible demonic intervention. Yeah, supernatural for sure. Absolutely. And look, it's got a lot of things that I don't want to say too much. There's a priest, Fast and the Furious vibes, It's a, but it's all set in Australia and an outback. Cast is amazing. A little I mean, bit of man-on-man love happening in there. Well, <clears throat> don't really want to talk about it too much. Well, until next week, don't forget to flush. See you, cunts. Hold it. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. He jumped over three linebackers in midair, sprouted animals like a gazelle. No one laughs at a master of quack fool. Real nice. Many have died from starvation due to the difficulty of finding enough food such as seals. Shut up. No more Mr. Nice Duck. That's it. Right, Mr. Zitz? What do you make of that? You know, it's the most fantastic story I've ever heard. The Round Carpet Podcast. I've got to be on the ball. I've got a pregnant girlfriend. Could go anytime. Mate, just, just one. For the camera. I'm going to talk backwards. Swedish chef. And that's how film and television is made. <laughs> <laughs> Another app. Just like a closed bank, closed, like a vault. Nothing. What do you want? You give what me do you nothing. Want? No, you give me nothing. I'm trying to turn this into a basketball podcast at every time. Welcome to the NBA podcast. <laughs> oh, put it out, Moss. Fucking hell, what's, what are we doing in here? This is the show. It's, it's, it's cinematic, fucking, mate. Very it's cinematic. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a cinematic opening. I feel like I'm in the backdraft. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Do we need a bit more atmosphere in here? No more atmosphere, please. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, funny guys, huh? Show you what we do with funny guys who get in our business.